I was talking with a dear client of mine before she became a client. Uh, we had this uh, exploratory call and I was explaining to her, I mean, she was noticing that in my marketing, I don't promise results. I know that's unusual because you may have learned from mainstream marketing that you're supposed to promise results. Oh, if you work with me, you're going to get this problem solved. You're going to get that issue healed. You're going to be able to reach that goal. Uh, you're going to be able to, you know, meet the love of your life, <laughs> make a million dollars and have no more problems for the rest of your life. No. So that is how marketing is usually seen, isn't it? The used car salesman <laughs> technique, right? Use lots of hype and promises. And that's what this client experienced before she came to me. She had worked with other business coaches who had promised her piles of cash, you know, lots of money by using their methods. And when their methods didn't work for her, she blamed herself. She said, you know, it's not the coach's fault. I didn't, I probably didn't do something right. Well, I know that this client is hardworking, that appears to me, and I don't think it was her fault. The problem with mainstream marketing is that we learn that we're supposed to get people to buy from us as soon as possible. Like even on the first experience of us, they should be buying from us right away. So that's why you often see sales and marketing being so pressure driven. There's so much hype because they are measuring the conversion rate based on every campaign, every touch of the audience is supposed to somehow convert people to buying. Or let's even say that the marketing is a little bit more uh, brand focused and relationship focused, and they create free and helpful content. And then they, they have a sales message to say, all right, now it's time to buy. And they measure the success of that sales message based on the number of conversions. Conversions is an interesting word, isn't it? It is from the religious context of turning someone into a religious person, uh, bringing someone into your religion. That is conversion. And that's what marketers have taken as the normal language of taking someone from not being a client or a customer to being a client or customer, the process of conversion. Traffic and conversion, that's what we're supposed to focus on, isn't it? Well, let me give you, as you can imagine, a different way through. Because I have also done the same thing in the past. I learned from the mainstream marketers. That's how I started because I didn't know any better. So I too used to promise the moon and the stars. If you sign up for my program, you're going to be make six figures. You're, you're going to, you know, be famous. You're going, you know, all these things that everyone else was promising. So I figured I, I should promise that too. And the, whoever promises in the most convincing way wins. Now, the reality if you, especially if you have worked with clients, you know that the reality is that you really can't promise anything authentically with integrity. Why? Because it's not up to you, the provider, the, the business owner, to make results in their life. For example, I'll do a very, very simple example. Let's say someone is dying of thirst in the desert and you sell them some water, are you going to promise this water, you will be cured of thirst if you buy my water? That's, that's not true, technically, because if they don't open the bottle and drink the water, they will still die of thirst. That's a very simplistic example, but you know that's the case with your own clients too, isn't it? If you can talk to them all day, all night, 
You can demonstrate your way of solving their problem. You can give them all the resources that, that, that you think they need. But if they don't make changes in their own behavior, in their own thoughts, in their own actions, their life is probably not going to change. And so therefore they don't get any results. So none of us can really, it doesn't matter if you're selling a product or a service, if the customer, first of all, if the customer isn't the right fit for the product, then it doesn't even matter if they use the product, they're not the right fit. They don't have the right problem or they don't have the, 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 the goal that the product was designed to help them with. It doesn't matter. So it has to be a right fit, number one. Number two, they have to use the product or service in the way that it was designed to and for long enough for their problem to likely, not always, see, that's the thing. Even if someone's the right fit and they use the product or service in the right way, there might be other factors that we cannot plan for. Some other, may, there may be genetic factors, there may be family factors, societal factors, <laughs> the moon and the stars, who knows? Economic, whatever the case, we can only go so far as service providers and as product providers. We give them the product and the instructions and the help, however they need. And then it's up to them to do what they can. And even if they do everything right, it doesn't necessarily mean they're going to get the results. Like I said, there are many unknown factors. We can do our best, but, but that's it. So back to the idea. You cannot with integrity, promise results. So what can we do? Here's what I do. Instead of promising results, I promise my clients four things. I promise them my best care. Okay, let me actually start from, start from the beginning of the list because uh, this, is, um, this, is, this is actually, there's actually a, a uh, a method to this. And I'm looking at my notes here, so I'm getting it right. I promise them my content, meaning here are the ideas that I have discovered to, to work for myself and the people, and many, not all, but many of the people who use these ideas, these seem to work. I promise them my best content, my clients. I promise them my structure. So if you join my program, if you work with me, not only will you get my content, you'll also get this process, this structure with which to apply the content. Instead of just a random jumble of ideas, it's like, okay, step one, step two, step three, maybe there's support calls, et cetera. Number three, so one is content, two, I promise structure. Number three, I promise my care. I will show up to my structure, the structure, is where I meet with my clients, whether it's in Q&A calls, coaching calls, an online forum where I answer questions, a document where I answer questions, whatever it is, the structure is there to support them through the transformational process. I promise my care that I will show up authentically, consistently with integrity into the structure. I will care as much as it is sustainable to care. So I care within my structure. And this is something that I think probably some of you need to learn how to do better is to promise your care, but to do it within a sustainable structure for yourself. A sustainable structure is very important for the client too, because if, you're not, if you are not sustainable, then you can't continue providing your best to them. So you have to be sustainable in the way you provide your care, and then your clients can continue to be served by the structure that you provide. So one is content, two is structure, three is care, and four, I promise, my community. If they, if they, for example, join my group program, I promise them that they will have peers that are mutually supportive, that they can collaborate with, that they can find accountability buddies, that they will find the kind of partner or small team support that they need to, you know, that they won't find elsewhere. Right. So, well, they might find it elsewhere. I don't promise that this is the only place. I just promise that there is a community I've created that I believe in that that people seem to find helpful. Right. Et cetera. So that is what I promise to people. 
Now, here's, here's taking it to the next level. The more your, the person trusts you, the less you need to promise and they'll still sign up. It's true. The more there has been deep trust developed, the more, the less you have to, to say, well, you're going to get this and you're going to get that and this is going to be so great. Right? Because if they trust you a lot, then you can simply say, okay, what I understand is this is what you're wanting. Well, this is what I have. The more you can just simply whisper and they will sign up. And that's what I've discovered over the years is if I work on developing trust with you all, then if and when you are ready, if my product is the right fit, all I do is whisper. And I whisper once a month, as you know, probably if you follow my Facebook business page, I whisper in my email list, I whisper once a month, hey, here's my upcoming course. If you're looking for this, if you're wanting that, well, that's how I've designed this thing to help people who are who are wanting this kind of thing. I don't promise results. I just say I have developed a structure and content to address these kinds of issues and goals, to address them. That's it. It's up to you what you want. So you'll see me whispering once a month, and I get plenty of clients from my whispers because I have developed trust over the years. So let me explain. How do we develop trust over the years? How do we develop trust such that all we need to do is whisper rather than shout? That's how most marketing feels to us. Those, especially those of us who are more sensitive, right? Marketing feels like it is shouting or it is trying to be persuasive. It's trying to be charming. It's trying so hard or it's, it's sometimes it's not, it doesn't appear to be trying hard. And we get sucked into it, but we know, but, but when we study it, we know that in the back end, they've tried really hard to charm us, you know, to persuade us, to hypnotize us into buying. And that's not what I feel is needed to be done. I don't do that because I realize that if I show up authentically with a helpful intention again and again, and again, then naturally trust is developed. And that's what I hope for you as well. If you show up consistently with an authentic presence and with a genuine helpful intention, again and again and again, trust is naturally developed. And when there is trust, you can, you have an audience and that audience, you can talk with them to find out what you should sell to them. Well, I talk about this all the time, the process of audience research, right? <laughs> you build an audience with authentic content and then you do your audience research to find out what you should sell to them. And then step three, you sell it to them. It's really that simple, not that it's easy because you know what's not easy? Showing up consistently is not easy, especially in the beginning when nobody's watching, when hardly anybody is listening or reading. That's the hard part. Now, if you learn how to distribute your content, I teach it in my Facebook ads class, Instagram class, LinkedIn class. You know, I teach all these distribution methods in my courses. But if you show up consistently with your authentic presence, you distribute that to the right people, you do it again and again you develop a trusting audience. And that trusting audience, if you talk with them in audience research, they will tell you what they want you to sell. And if you sell what they want you to sell and they trust you, of course, they're going to buy. It's not rocket science, thankfully. It's simply human relationship development and meeting human wants through commerce. That's all business is. And the authenticity part we bring to it is that we are not trying to persuade people at all. There's no need, to there's no need for persuasion, psychology, 
at all. Let me say that again. You don't need to learn persuasion, psychology. You don't need to learn copywriting, except, well, unless you want to do it authentically. I actually am going to be teaching an authentic copywriting class because a lot of you are asking for it. So I'm giving you what you want. But you'll notice in the copywriting class that it's not about making them desire something. It's not about making them want to buy. It's about being clear. It's about being of integrity. And it's about answering the questions that they are wondering about, right? So if you build an audience, you ask them what they want, you sell them what they want, it is a natural process of getting clients. So I hope that this is helpful. I hope that this inspires you to not have to do the mainstream marketing methods anymore of using hype, promising the sun and the stars and the moon and <laughs> piles of cash or the love of their life or whatever it is that you might help people with and simply decide to show up again and again authentically. And by the way, the deepest benefit that you're going to get from showing up authentically again and again it's not that you'll get more clients. You will. Well, I can't promise you that, <laughs> all right? But the natural cycle is geared in that direction, right? But what I, can, what I can promise you, if I can promise you anything, I'll promise you this. If you show up authentically again and again with a helpful intention, you will become stronger. You will become smarter. You will learn to trust yourself much more. And when you trust yourself, that is actually the holy grail. When you trust yourself and your capabilities because you've seen yourself show up with that content again and again and again, it's a very natural step that the audience trusts you too. Not only are they seeing you again and again, but there is something about your energy signature that is much that that resonates with authentic confidence. And the, the authentic confidence only happens when you've learned to trust yourself based on the evidence of your actions of showing up consistently again and again and again. All right. Well, send you forward now to go ahead and do that. Okay. And I hope this is inspiring for you. I hope this is helpful. Always open to your comments and your questions below. My name is George Cow. For those of you who don't know me, um, I'm an authentic business coach. What that means is I love to help clients with showing up again and again and again and doing it in using an overall strategy that not only gets them clients, but also develops themselves. So, all right. I wish you well. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care.